the other time I told you this last election was the worst in my life. I was competing with the flag bearer and the flag bearer of NRM was a sister to a certain general. But when I was Flavia, I tried to go to the police, has not helped. And they were telling me because I was on a new cart. I went even up to the DPC. She didn't even allow us to come in her office. She told us, now we talk, we tried to talk to her. She didn't listen to us. And she told me, told me that we have to be the day. I was wondering, am I too big that I need more than ten for me to die? But I tried to call to Masaka. But when I called Masaka, they didn't even comfort me. Now, this one is on my neck, and I have to respect her and for the interest of time. Oh. You people, finally, I won the election together with my president. We won Laka in this. That is the truth of our matter. But, we are not declared, for sure. So we said, you know, this time around, I said, you know, I'm going to court. And for those who can recall very well, we were invited at Magere. And the president was like, Actually, he said, I'm also Kaboku Vidi. Uh -huh. Finally, he said, Those who want to go to court okay. by show of hands as a man with those ones. And now we were told the procedure. But finally, in the court, just like as Honorable Betel said, Terry Nomi and Pelegrapo Nazunga Masaka, Emirundi Jona, Safunam Kulebezi, one Masaka, and the Japoali court. And the worst bit of it, when the woman didn't even appear in the court, she didn't appear. Na yeji singo kunuma even up to date, balo ya ba fewe nini, aba fa opposition ati bevan ya mo kwe. We tu ogere da wano, mukoti e masaka ni ba I don't know whether I was. Actually, the ruling was like Guan Singer because I didn't tell the electoral commission that the other Kunalebo was not a voter because that was our case. But I don't know. I was there today. And it, yes, yes, as, as you've said. Now, here in the civil we will now. Bam, boom, boom, we said, Bam, boom, come But as I talk now, Bagala Kunsiba. A Jisinga Okunuma, Muchin Tuchino. A chest sentence is Chibabuli day. Honorable Mokabanda, you will share with Honorable Namna. No, it is the other one whom one was in Yamata Namuna Namudunan. I will tell I will call the name, I will tell you. Namuchu, fine. Honorable Namuchu Yaliko Yali Kayungi is in you. And she was giving me 500 millions for me to withdraw that case. I said no. Yes, on the Russian Bagam, we've got a new of Radi Munchalatia. But make our Ghana million if it turn. Got any at Daka Gad. Honorable Nambozi, thank you so much for the love and care in this issue. Change a color of Bagamba, it has remained strong. Yeah, but this statement is so generalized. Bogamba Baloya Bafibania Moru Kwe, but yeah. Baloya Bafinuk says in the two gay, and I saw Kanabo. That was Allah and company advocates. I have to be clear on this. Yes. To the tune that they even denied me a chance of getting a single document from them. To the tune that they even received documents from the court. They didn't tell me. They didn't even go to the court. They didn't even go to the court. They are twisting me now. You see? So it is so, so, so painful. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Remain strong.
Zina jamu kalu kama ngaji ni moto kaya ni anu wengu jina ina jina soko kutunda ati ni mbula jina tani ni tani kwa muri mu. So, jaga lo kuwe waza. Na yeye pipa i must tell you this. Kuna le bosi drika as we talk now. Ncha aliwo. I am still strong. I tell you that you know that at one time tea, I will go to Parliament. Thank you so much. Unless you have a word forward, I don't want to listen to the past session. Please, you have a word forward? Just a word forward. That's her share. That's her share. Be quiet. That's her share. The only one, they already shared. From the region. <laughs> from the region. But they are bringing people power. Our power. Our power. Our power. Once again, I want to thank my lecturer from IUI. She's Madame Fatuma. She has lectured me. And I thank God I have many people who I know around here, including her. They may not know me, but I know them once again. Now, firstly, everything we're talking about grounds up with God first. And I believe with God everything is possible. Your name and position, the yes. position and the constituency. I'm sorry, I was running out of time. I'm Marina Anna Grace. I'm the vice chairperson, Women League, Lango Sub Region. Oh, wow. Some of my people interested us. As the women councillor, Oyam District, Achaba Sub County. Yes. I'm actually very glad to be here, and I'm really privileged. I want to thank the team for organizing this, and I pray we may be able to organize it in our home districts again. That's the way forward. The way forward. The, the question was about where we are and where we are yes. going now. How are you moving forward? Now I'm in the ready stage. Because when you fall or when you fail an election, there is one stage. It depends on the person. The first stage is the shock stage. You become shocked. Either you get depression is the second stage. The third is maybe, it depends, acceptance, then recovery. Because when you don't accept you fail, there is no way you recover. You'll always be depressed and you'll have a lot of issues, external both and internal. One thing I want to actually encourage us is, first of all, everything we're talking about may be crowning up to financial issues. But what I want to say is, you begin with what you have to get what you want. There is no way I could say we need money this, because every person is fighting wherever we are. And as we hope, I know we believe in change. And what you want is love and teamwork. So when you love your people and you're ready to serve, you begin with what you have. You may not have the money physically, but you can have the, that spirit of working together, teamwork, like we are women. And I thank God, women are the majority actually. We can arrange, these activities we are talking about, we can, in your different constraints, you can get women. There are a lot of problems and issues to address with women. Right from girl child to the womanhood. You can just tap on part of it and make a meeting with women, talk to them about it, get their opinions. Like in my household, there is a lot of uh, women uh, have that inferiority in com in complex. Like they feel they cannot speak. They have no avenue. They are always depressed by men. So they need that part of talking to them, encourage them, give them that empowerment. There must be women must special to let them know that they can, they can do it. Only that is enough to allow you get that standing chance. Then about security, you must have self-security. We may be blaming the police, the work, but they are also already depressed with whatever is going on. So yourself, you must have self-security and self-confidence. Know where you are going and where you are from. Before you say anything, know what you're talking about. Because politics is psychology. The people, the people you're dealing with, first know what is their interest and what are they feeling. You can deal with that interest psychologically or emotionally, not even financially. I'm really kindly begging. If we could, 
make it from our own point of view be point in blaming the party there is a lot of issues the party is handling as it is and you as a person you have other challenges you can handle as you yourself so my kind request is let us begin dealing with the community we have you can do charity work you can have women emancipation you can have sensitization programs and before you join politics it is a kind request talk to the family men are a weaker sex when you explain to the husband or oh, any spouse of yours, you tell him, I want to join this politics because of this and this, and you have confidence. When you explain to him, give him the way, the way forward, give him the views. Because women are stronger, but men find it difficult. You feel like, oh, he's going to get other men outside. Oh, he's going to do this. So my main aim is sensitization is mostly the most important one, and then there's mentorship. The second point, and thirdly, self security. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Grace. I thought I told you summary, but <laughs> <laughs> only one minute. Yes. Uh, I'll make it so brief. My name is Akel Ofanis Mary, Mama Lucia. I first want to appreciate the Union League for this guest of is inviting us for these trainings. They really strengthen us because as we keep moving there, things are always getting a bit harder sometimes. So the question was where we are at right now after the elections. Uh, I think that last year was the hardest for most of us. Uh, for someone who was pensioning maybe from school, you went direct into politics and then you're hammered twice. You cannot get a job first of all in the government institutions because of the party that you support. That was hard, but if it survived that to now, I believe we are stronger to keep doing more on ground. Uh, there was a complaint by Madame Navatanzi that most of us are not on the ground. Me, I will not really, I will not uh, get an excuse. It's true. At some point, we've been there, but that it was tight then. There is no way you go there when you're not even sustaining yourself. But I'm sure at this point, yeah, we are going to do something. Thank you. Cool. Thank you so much for being Thank you so much. People power. Our power. Our power. Our power. power. My name is um, Namumia Rebecca. Umani P N U P, Wajiri District. Um, I'll be. I'll try to be brief. I went into politics, it was my first experience. And I'm happy that I had a support from my family. I had a small car which could move me, my, my district. And also in my district, we were two strong opposition candidates, NUP and FDC. So we fought for the opposition votes. I managed to support myself where necessary and everything ended, the way it ended, because I have Kasule Mumba who sits and says, I want this one to be the woman MP. I want this one to be the MP for this constituency. After the politics, I have a question to our MPs who went through. How did you make it? Because even as we sit and say we did the best. We have a saying in East that if you're not in NRM, you will never go to Parliament. They always tell us that. If you're in NUP, you will never go to Parliament. If you're not a wife or a girlfriend to someone who, wants, who is a UPDF or a DPC or a RDC or someone who works in government, you cannot go to Parliament. How did you do it to go to Parliament? Thank you. <laughs> That's a nice question. We can see how we figure out. How did you make it? I hand it over to Claudia. It is KI Mokurembeze back in Uganda. First of all, let us first stand up. Exactly. And stretch a bit. Because we have been sitting from morning to now. So Since we are morning. going to stand up and stretch a bit. Spell N U P using your body. Let us go and yeah. use 
Yeah, but I don't see people moving their body. In? U. U. P. 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 Let me say it together. N U P. N U P. N U P. Everywhere. Everywhere. N U P. Okay, let us take our seats back. Your seats closer, those who are next to the chairs, kind of cover up a bit. I hope you're fine. Now, okay, so let us do this two things that have come out clearly from our conversations, and now we are concluding the session. Just to give a brief overview for the journalists who are not around, we started from a point, all the people here, majority of them that you see, contested under the eighth flag. And they did not go through, so we needed to have this conversation. We have a few who already went through who are with us here. Councillors, members of parliament, we have mayors, we have LC5 chairpersons, and they all share different stories. But now we are concluding. We didn't want you in because it was a very intimate session. And yes, you missed out on very many powerful stories, but we needed it for our own sake. I know when the cameras come on sometimes, you may not get the face, yet you wanted to get a sharing and healing process. Let us first have a moment of silence for this lady's husband. So, Kepsiri Kiri Muko, May his soul rest in peace. Amen. I also know that some of you may not have shared, but you have similar stories. We all pray for your deceased loved ones. Peace. Secondly, we haven't heard from this lady from Bundibuju. She contested in Mundiwujo, that area that, you know, because we've had some unique areas that have shared, and there are some areas I wanted us to listen from briefly uh, from the northern region. We had, we got from the mayor, we got from the LC5 chairperson journalist. I would encourage you to pick stories from her and her. She had a really powerful story. She contested as Kagadi LC5 chairperson. Nagwa, muri mu abatane ya njula wa ingidewo. Beneta go kumanya kuanga mtu se. Later te muzeleti. Mbasa wa mumsoke mu ya njule mamba session jenza ko yigala o. So mu yuzoka funa ungisa kola chi kufuna opportunity. Your name and which position you had contested. Thank you so much. People power. Power power. Our power. Namgera Juliet from Entebbe. Councillor LC5, Gangenda ku district. Nawangula, maybe Jamu, million in Kaga, million in Tano, Ntuba ku Ewakiso, Jate, Mr. Mobulu Munana. Let us send it to Kulaiza, as what you are seeing now. Now come out of the Tabula, Nimukumu never Zamu come out next time. Kuba people, Bali Nangi, Mabali, you are Bali. People power? Power power. Tikitonda Christine from Jinja. Umani Kansala in Mafubida, Nuzan Division. Thank you. Nice item. Good afternoon, members. People power. Our power. Our power. People power. I'm Achen Peru. Uh, I'm not having any position, but I found it uh, Omokisa Okuja to attend. Hmm? Yeah. I'm from <laughs> Thank you. I'm from Nila district. But I'm visually impaired, have a visual impairment, and I'm looking forward at least to represent fellow people with disability. Wow. And people power card, thank you. Thank you very much. And you're the lucky one, eh? Who, who decided to come? 
Then you know, she might have spoken with her. Yes? She found us here. She found you guys here. <laughs> yeah, now you have another person. Thank you for coming. People power. Our power. Our power. People power. Excuse me, I am not understanding English. Okay, exactly, no problem. Me, same, same. Me, same, same. No English, no malo. Mm. Nayaka <laughs> Amen. <laughs> District Human Councillor. That means like an MP for constituents because I looked for the votes in two sub counties. Where the MPs were looking for it, I was also doing the same. So that means if I come for MP, you can give me the prize. <laughs> yeah, let me share only one thing. You people, I want to be in the same to my language. I want to be in the same way. Ya kubela information yali kufayo. E, you people, baliku etaka meeting, this and this is there. Aye, uwefe ku, ya, bale wakubi ya mbu, iwe, ulino kweta mtransport, ulino kulote, ulichimuchi cho. Na kuwa hii, it is true, I know nino kubye tamu. But, kuruachi wa chikubye batio. Ya kubwa hati, aa, nchi mja kweta aga kadi. We are not of all the same level. Our men, 
Batu ikili sa ngonge na mkalbo zina wele msichukumi Ya kusupporti nga nga wele na kusante dako zao yo dogema do, Mwadivalo huu ile ya adekuwa mwajia mkalbo mwenchu <laughs> Yes? Katina huo ozila mulimo Words, you're telling me we shall not be you So by the names of Sharifa Ahimbisiwe, I represent Kavanagana Parish. Okay, thank you very much. So we are now concluding our session in the <laughs> People power, our power, our power. Our power. People power. Joseph Nasazi, Mulamata, Irina Yangi. As a minister, we will be able to see if we can get the same thing as the KCCA Machine the Division. I want to be a good one. I want to come up with the same thing. I want to come up with the same Thank you very much. So now we are moving to our final session. In the things you have said, some I will be responding, and I'll respond and invite our final.